right? Yeah. You're good. Okay, let me just put got it. It's telling me that I'm recording. Okay, hi guys. I am Kim and um, I am hosting the call tonight. So I'm really excited that you guys are all here. And I was just gonna share a little bit about my story. I can't even believe this, but as of next month, this is gonna be eight years of me being a coach slash now partner with body and um, time flies. <laughs> I don't even know where the time went. So I, um, I started with Beachbody back in 2015 as a customer. I um, just saw a random Facebook post about a 21 day fix group and um, I was looking to lose like 15 pounds. And when I saw it, I told my husband it was Mother's Day and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want a, it was a challenge pack back then. And I told him and he had no idea what I was talking about, but it was Mother's Day and he thought, okay, if that's really what you want. And he got me the 21 day fix challenge pack and I got into the Facebook group and I, um, I wasn't really doing, I wasn't doing it for the workouts. I was doing it for the nutrition plan and I love the containers and autumn. And I did end up losing the 15 pounds that I wanted to lose back then. And, um, I was all into the challenge group and my coach kept saying, Kim, join as a coach, join as a coach. And I said, no, no, no. I have two little kids. I work full time as a nurse practitioner. I really don't have time for this, you know? And then, uh, so I never did. And then finally, six months later, um, I had some people asking me like, gosh, you know, you look really good. What are these shakes you're drinking? And once people started like questioning me about, more about it, I thought, yeah, you know, maybe I could do this. So then I went to my coach at the time and I said, hey, I think I'm ready. And she was like, ready to do what? And so I said, I'm ready to join as a coach. And she's like, oh, okay. So I got signed up and that was, um, March of 2016. So here we are eight years later. Um, and when I signed up as a newbie coach, uh, sadly my coach dropped off and I haven't heard from her in years. She, uh, she still has an active account, but doesn't really work the business. So very early on, even as a baby coach, I learned how to, figure it out. So I would say this business is very figured, like you can figure it out without having anyone hold your hand. I was that coach that didn't have someone holding my hand. Um, but I knew that I love 21 day fix and I was like, well, here I am. I love it. I'm going to start doing my own group. So I started and every single month I did again, not doing the workouts, just doing these 21 day fix nutrition groups every month. That was all I did. And I would invite on Facebook. I didn't have an Instagram back then and, um, and people would come and we would do the 21 day fix plan. And some people, I was a runner then. So like I had a lot of, um, people that were like running in races like me, I was into group fitness. So I would have people from, um, the group fitness programs that I was into and they would all join in for the nutrition. And, uh, you know, that went on for two years, you guys, like no workouts. I was, I, I, I just did every single month nutrition groups and I hit success club. I have hit success club every single month since 2016. And I mean, I, it just, you know, once you start the streak, I, I just kept going with it. So then right around 2017 autumn introduced a 80 day obsession. And I decided that I wanted to go all in on a program and this dig deeper and I'll get to this program is giving me flashbacks of when I went all in with 80 day obsession. So I went so all in that I remember going live on Facebook saying, I'm not doing my group fitness anymore. Um, I'm going to take a break from there and I'm going to start this beach body program and pair it with the nutrition plan that I've been doing. And so I did. I stopped going there and uh, I started 80 day obsession and I got the best results of my life doing that program better than I had ever gotten like 
running marathons or um, at this group fitness place that I had been going to. And all of a sudden I was like, wow. Um, okay. So, you know, these programs are phenomenal. And um, I fell in love with working out from home. I don't know why I was always kind of like, oh, the working out from home isn't good enough. I don't know. Like I, I, I was one of those people that kind of had those feelings until I did 80 day obsession. And when I did 80 day obsession way back then, I documented that journey like it was my job and it was my job to do that. Right. So I remember I made an album and like a photo album and every single day I would post like, you know, what day, um, and Jose did the program with me then too. So like, you know, it's okay. We're in phase one week two, day two. And I would write a little blurb about what happened that day. And I would add it to the Facebook photo album so that I knew anytime somebody like stumbled on that photo album, they would see my entire journey of 80 day obsession. And I just kept sharing and sharing and sharing my results from phase one and phase two. And I ended up repeating the program two and a half times <laughs> and that and why it was two and a half because the half point was july or june whenever summit was in um 2018 and i did and i used it to do the, when we had it the beach body classic so if you guys are new here um the beach body classic was like a physique competition for beach body and they had it at summit and I entered and I ended up winning in the top 10, which was kind of a big deal. Um, and that like those pictures of my transformation from starting 80 day obsession, like in the very beginning to doing the Beachbody Classic is a transformation picture that I will have for my entire Beachbody career. And anytime I ever feel like I want to show, I love sharing transformation pictures. You know, I, I do it all the time the, you know, I know that Carl kind of went back and forth on it, but he never said we couldn't. And I love to share transformation because it tells a story and I love to share my journey. So, um, those pictures were very big for like the trajectory of my business. And I think that it's really important as we're going into this dig deeper program. And I don't know why I have such a connection with dig deeper and 80 day obsession, but 80 day obsession was like my all time favorite program. Cause it was my first program and I had such great results and I feel like dig deeper. I just like, I'm obsessed already and it's really my vibe. So, um, I just wanted to like tell you guys, you know, how I kind of got started right there. Um, and once I had those results from 80 day obsession, obviously I was all in for the programs. So that's a little backtracking on about me. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that, you know, while I was doing all of this, like I said, I didn't have like a upline coach really, um, holding my hand in the beginning. Um, I am a mom of two children that were very young at the time. Now they are not very young, but what, like eight and six. Now my Abby is 16 and my son is 14. Um, I have always worked this entire time. I'm a nurse practitioner. So it's, you know, I've been able to, you know, I, I've never given up my job even with Beachbody. And I'm like, and I'm proud to say that like a lot of times I've considered it like, oh, you know, I don't need to be working anymore, but I've decided to always keep my nurse practitioner job and I'm able to do both. And um, I think that a lot of you guys can probably relate to that because you're still working and maybe you think like you're too busy to be able to um, hit success club and run groups and share your story and do those things because you have kids and you have a job. And I think that we all have a lot going on. You just really have to know um where to put your time and um, how to like balance your power hours. I will say when I first started, I was working full time as a nurse practitioner and I was working urgent care out of the house. So, you know, I really had to um, find pockets of time to work like always on my lunch break. I worked um, 
I worked like on my days off, like on the weekends and stuff like that. And then, you know, my days were 12 hours. So if I was working in urgent care, I couldn't like work during my patients. So, you know, I would have to work on my days off and find time to, you know, juggle it in. Now I work from home. I work telehealth. It's a little um, less demanding and, um, you know, less hours, but that was another big thing that happened in my career. But um, I was able to leave that urgent care job because of body, because I had this opportunity, you know, and I was able to feel confident enough to be able to um, change jobs. So if you feel like you're someone that's so busy and that there's not enough time, there's always time. There's always time to be able to um, fit this business into your schedule. Um, and, you know, there's been like ups and downs through all of it. And there's been times where I didn't want to, you know, keep going and push forward. And I know this company even recently, like we've gone through a lot. <laughs> and I just, I've always thought to myself, you know, this company and this business has brought so much good to my life through the years. Um, like Scotty and I were just talking about success club trip and like, you know, up and coming events and it, it's just, it, I, I've always said, you know, with the ups and the downs, I've always wanted to keep pushing forward. Um, and you guys all know, I would think maybe if you follow my husband has been, um, I don't want to talk about it too much cause I'll cry. And I'm like, it's hard enough for me to be on this call talking, but he was recently diagnosed with cancer. And during that time frame, I thought for sure, like, this is it. Like, I can't push anymore in this business. I can't share my journey. I can't, like, do these per. I don't know. Like, I just, I wanted to shut down. And then I started thinking about, like, how much these programs have helped me and how much I love having, you know, my customers and you guys and everyone to just kind of push me through the hard and um, it's just been a blessing to be able to still have this in my life. And um, if I had given up Beachbody at some point during the hard times, then I wouldn't have had a, like had such a huge, like the amount of people that have come to me during these past six months, um, whether it's my customers, my team, um, people with Scotty, even like body partners that are not like that are outside of the circle. I've just had so much support. So um anyways this company has been amazing so that's kind of like part of my journey but um yeah so <laughs> I know I'm supposed to make the announcements too now that I'm backtracking thank you Laura I love you too um so I will start there and then kind of just dig into like what I do um on the daily and how I do make this you know, sharing my journey every day into a business. And it doesn't really feel like work to me because I'm literally just sharing my story every day as to what's going on. But, um, you know, we were just talking about the success club trip. So hopefully some of you guys are coming on the success club trip that's coming up in March. Um, I started a chat about it. <laughs> so if any of you guys are going and you're not in our like little chat, um, maybe in the Scotty's team page I'll put it so that we can make sure that we get pictures together and spend some time like getting to know each other better um and then summit we just had an announcement about summit where it's going to be a little bit shorter than usual it's going to be two days instead of like usually it's Wednesday to Sunday and they're going to make it just you know Friday and Saturday um, but I kind of think it's going to be okay because then like maybe Thursday night we can all like do a group dinner, maybe have a little more time to do like non body summit stuff like right beforehand and then get into like the big, um, training Friday and so, yeah, some actual time to be there with the team. So that was always my problem. Like I just felt like it was so busy that there wasn't enough time to, scheduled team time it was just like going from here to there you know so summit um big sale you know I don't know if you guys noticed my numbers for the past two months this buy one get one sale 
I would say my highest in eight years success club. Like I said, I've always hit, you know, success club, but in November I was over a hundred success club points. And, um, in December I was right there like 98 or, or something like it was very close. And, um, those points were coming not only from the buy one, get one sale, but a lot of it was coming from that. So you might be worried, you know, I've had this thought like, okay, well, what's going to happen with our renewals and, you know, I'm just thinking about the here and now, right now, you guys, like that, that's my, that's my vision. I don't know what Carl has for us in the future. I don't know what new programs are going to be coming out. I don't know. You know, when we started selling the bikes, we didn't know we were selling the bikes. I sold like 92 bikes or something like that. I had no idea that we were going to be into bike sales and that just came out of nowhere. So you never know, we may have a new product, something else. But I have to like go with what we have right now and not be, you know, concerned. So those big points were coming from me sharing with my current customers and my team that you got to hop on this. Like this is a huge sale, buy one, get one. And, um, and they did and they trusted me and I was, and they're excited too about having two years of body. And I think with them having that, and then we can get them, you know, started on more supplements, you know, um, make sure they're getting their Shakeology and their recover, especially with a program like Dig Deeper. So um, I'm trying not to worry about those renewals for the next year, because we're just going to be concerned, because we're just going to be concerned with right now. So, um, and it was a very big blessing to have those like that the, those paychecks coming in were, were really wild and wonderful and um something that when I saw them and everything that we're going through at home I was like oh my god like medical bills we've got this <laughs> like that's not an issue right now at all and thank god right um so yeah so do the buy one get one um I just want to make a couple of those announcements and then anyone else? Um, I don't know what Scott, what the questions are down here, but um, I'll look at the chat later. Okay. So I want to talk about uh, dig deeper though. Actually, let me look at the chat really quick and see if there's anything like super important actual time with the team. Um, I don't, like to get I don't that really to see any questions in there. Just everybody. Okay, like, good. Yeah. And who, that's who, the thing. Um, like, you want, I want my people to get the best deal, you know, like, why would I not want them to be able to get this buy one, get one. And then it also, then I know I've got them locked in for two years with me. Like they have access to all these programs as I'm like running whatever groups it is, they've got access for two years. So it's definitely in our benefit to make sure that, um, you get everyone on the buy one, get one. Okay. So how many of you guys are doing Dig Deeper by show of hands, just out of curiosity? Is there a lot of you guys all doing Dig Deeper? And do you love it? Is everybody like in love? Yes, good. Okay, so when did you start promoting Dig Deeper? This is what I'm um, wondering. Like, did you start promoting a month before it was launched or two months or a week, or did you just start talking about it? Kind of curious about three to four weeks before it was launched. Okay. You know how long before I started? I would say the moment I heard that Dig Deeper was going to be launched, I've been talking about it for at least six months. At least I've been talking about Dig Deeper. And I told people that, you know, new partners coming on that you can't wait to talk about a program like you I mean you can and we are and you're going to and you're going to share your journey but I have heard some people tell me like I'm just not getting the sales that you're getting and dig deeper and to me it makes me question well when did you start sharing about it because I have had people hooked on this program long before it even was launched because I started talking about it six months ago and that's what I was trying to tell my new partners that were signing up you don't want to sign up as a partner 
with the launch of like dig deeper and think like, okay, it's day one dig deepers launched. And now you're going to start posting on social media about dig deeper. And all of these people are going to come rushing to you because they see you post about dig deeper. They don't trust you yet. They don't know you. They don't trust you. They have no idea what this program is that you're talking about. So, and I'm going to give you, you know, what, what we're going to do with those people that, you know, you just started, but like, for those of us that started talking about it like six months ago and, you know, just kept bringing it up and every time like body talked about it, then I talked about it or Shanti said something, I shared it or, you know, like what is Shanti talking about right now? Like then I would talk about that. So people were kind of familiar with what this program was going to be about. And then now that it launched, everyone was like, like, okay, I want it. You've been talking about it forever. Okay. So now you're loving the program, but you're finding you're like, gosh, why don't I have like everyone buying? Like I thought I was going to. So now is your chance to share your journey during these 12 weeks. And then 12 weeks from now, you're going to run another group. And because you've been talking about it for all this time and you're going to share, you're going to have the most amazing transformation pictures like I had from 80 day obsession where you can be like, boom, just like Scotty had, because he just said, Oh, I just had the most success clubs I, points that I've ever had. Well, did you see his transformation pictures? He had really good dig deeper transformation pictures. And so people, and people watched him because he was lucky enough to be in the test group. And so what I would say is make this program your all in program, like as if your job depends on it. I want you to go all in, like print the trackers, do the meal planning, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing 2B, you're doing portion fix, you're doing gut protocol, however you're like incorporating nutrition into this program, show it and talk about it. <laughs> However you're doing, you know, we're in like this four week collection right now. Are you feeling stronger? Are you like um, noticing that your, your form is getting better? What is Shanti talking about? How is he making you feel? Um, and as you share this journey over the next three months, when you go to run that, that group three months from now, that's when I think that you're going to find that you're going to have more people being like, oh my gosh, I've been watching you do this for the past three months. I trust you. I see you. I've been watching you do it. I want to do it now too. I think sometimes we're so quick to move on to like the next program or the next thing. And then all these people that have been watching you during this like transformation time, you don't give them a chance to then do it with you. So um, I think that, you know, um, we've gotten like a little bit lazy on the programs too. And sometimes we don't give a, give it our all. It's a new year. I want you to like visualize what your transformation is going to look like and what those end pictures are going to look like and how you're going to feel and how amazing you're going to feel. Because what I find when I feel really good at doing a program and my nutrition, and this happened to me last year with gut protocol, I can talk about that too. But like, um, I ran multiple, I think I did six groups around gut protocol. I went on two of Autumn's trips because of gut protocol. I was so passionate about it because of these results and how I was feeling. And you just like, pour out this like energy to people. And so if people feel it from you, if you don't have that energy, then people may not want to just like hop in with you so quickly. And I find that when I am eating good and following a program and feeling really good about the program, it makes it very easy for me to talk about and make reels and make posts and just like do all the things where people see my excitement about it. And they don't, I don't even know if they care what the program is at this point. They're just like, whoa, Kim is just has so much energy and is loving something that she's doing. I need to do that with her. And that's what you have to like 
really show people that, um, you know, how excited you are and how good you feel. And, um, and then I think that they'll, you know, come to you a little bit more. So I want you guys to like work on that with this program and, um, right. Scotty, wouldn't you say you feel like that with your, like being in the test group? Do you think that that helped with you, you know, leading up to this? Yeah. You know, I went all in with myself. And one thing to find of this program, Shantisha is so great at motivating anyway, um, that when I'm like, I just embraced, it was really hard, the longer workouts, adding cardio on. And so I just embraced that, like, I'm, I'm here to do something hard and challenge myself, see what I'm capable of. But I found that, like, every day when I finished my workout, like, I just wanted to go, like, repeat something that Shanti said during that to my friends. And so I'd just hop on a 60 second Instagram, you know, story, or I put them on my YouTube. I put in my stories. Like I just wanted to, other people to learn the things I was learning and feel what I was feeling. And so people are naturally like, I have to do this. What is this? How is this? And <clears throat> sorry, I, I don't want to steal your show, but no, I had a conversation okay. with um, Brendan Bruchard where I was like, I'm having a really hard time um, getting hardworking people um, to join my business or be a part of my team. And he's like, you're probably not that aspirational. You're just kind of being <laughs> average. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> and I was like, it was a truth. Cause I do my workouts at the gym, but like, there's tons of like really ambitious 25 to 35 year olds there and, and people my age and above as well. But I could guarantee when he said that, just having self-reflection, there was no one at that gym that would look at me and be like, that guy is aspirational. Like, I want to be like that guy. So I just made the decision, like, even if the results didn't show, like people, if they saw me doing that dig deeper workout at the gym, they were going to know that I was working harder than anyone else there. Like I was right. doing something aspirational. And so like, I actually have three guys from the gym that are doing dig deeper. Like they, they put their little, their phones up and they're in the back in the little turf area doing dig deeper with me now that they started uh, on the eighth. Um, but it's That's because I made that just kind of made that decision. And I think it all, it starts within you like that. And then it just, when, when you go in all in with something, it just comes out of you. It naturally. does. It does. So like, I, I thought that's interesting what you said, because recently I just made a reel on Instagram because so I always talk in the morning, but I find that I don't really have my energy to give until my workout is done. So I do like, if you follow me on my Instagram stories, I'm literally every morning, it's me and Jose, good morning, how are you? Like, here we are, we're on week two, day two, upper body circuit. But it's not until when I'm, and then when I work out, like that's when the ideas start popping in my head. Oh, I can make this post. Oh, I could do this real, like, as I'm working out and I start and the endorphins start to get flowing. And, um, and so when we're done and, and Shanti's talking to you at the same thing. And then I think to myself, Oh, I like what he just said right there. And he's so inspirational. So then when, you know, even if I'm sweaty and I don't even care at this point, I used to be really like, I think it's okay to just show up as you and not feel like you have to look perfect anymore. So I show up on social media, sweaty with my hair up after a workout and, you know, just kind of talk about some of the things that Shanti says during the workouts and how it makes me feel. And, um, and, I, and I'll make a post about it or, you know, a reel about it. And um, he's, he's wonderful and he's like life changing too. So, um, so yes, definitely go all in on this program. Um, I actually have a group, my dig deeper group, you guys has, my goal was, <laughs> I always make these big goals, but if you don't, I, and I say it too on my stories, like I'm looking to have 200 people in my group do this program with me. And I have 252 people in my dig deeper group. And those are all, um, my customers and, um, like my team, my coaches, um, I do have a lot of people from the outside body world. Maybe some of you guys have asked, um, can I get in your group? Um, and I just, those are my people. I literally live in my group all day long. Like, Kim, what do you do for work? I live in my Facebook groups. <laughs> I am in there answering questions. People tag me. I make videos in there. 
Um, and I like to give my utmost attention to my team and my customers. And if I feel like even if I were to let in one, then it'll turn to like, I don't know where to say no. So I just keep it private. Um, and it's not because I have anything against you. Like I, I would love to have everyone in there, but I really try to, you know, make sure that I read every post and like comment when I can on my, you know, what people are posting and make sure that you don't miss questions. And when I see questions of people, then I'll do a live and I'll, you know, go in there and um, talk about whatever my team wants me to talk about for the day, whether it's questions on nutrition, whether it's questions on supplements, whether it's, you know, something with the workout, they want me to <laughs> show them how to do the J row versus, you know, just a regular row. So that's going to come up tomorrow. Um, you know, we were talking about like protein intake and, um, you know, what, whatever they want to talk about. But I do, I, I put a lot of effort into um, my groups, but I am excited to say that I have 250 people doing it with me, which was above my goal. And it is, it's so like, everybody is pumped up about this program. And another thing that I'm thinking in my mind for three months from now, um, I know like right now with the business, Maybe we're all feeling it's a little more difficult than it used to be to bring on partners, but I have this vision, right? So here's my vision, you guys. Like, not only are you going to have the best transformation, I want my people to have the best transformation because when they feel really good about this body program and after these three months, they come out with the transformation, guess what they're going to want to do? They're going to want to share it and they're going to want to post it on social media or they're just walking around and people are going to see them with this like beautiful transformation. And they're going to ask, well, what were you doing? And what supplements are you using? And suddenly there's your next coach. Like these, these are my, like, this is my up and coming team to be rather than just trying to pull from like my cold market from Instagram, because those aren't the people that I really think that are going to, you know, bring us to have these like, you know, large working teams. Again, it's the people that are already like fallen in love with the program and they have the transformation to share and they, you know, want to continue on with a program like this and, you know, invite their friends and family and stuff like that. So that's like my next vision um, for up and coming, bringing people in because they're going to, you know, they're just going to have loved it. So um that's about my dig deeper group. So anyways, you guys asked me some questions. So I wanted to, um, okay. One. So Laura asked me one, if you, if I could only do one thing to move the needle, what would I do? And that if I could only do one thing during the day, it's connections. I, I spend my day either in my group or I'm talking to people. <laughs> I'm connecting with people. I'm literally just messaging back and forth with people about anything, whether it's body related, most of the time it's not. Um, before this call, I was just, you know, in my Instagram stories talking about how today was my first time. My daughter drove, she's 16, but she has her permit. So my husband's been doing the driving with her. But anyways, I was just talking in there about how today was my first time and she drove and asking like, you know, where are my parents of teens that are doing this? When do you stop feeling nervous? And I had a lot of people like messaging me back. So I'm just sitting here going back and forth with people connecting that have teen kids that their kids are driving too. And it's nerve wracking and anxiety producing. And how do you feel? And, you know, and it has nothing to do with body or our programs, but I'm just making connections. And I think that those connections lead to sales and coming into programs later on more than anything else. So, um, that would be my one thing. Um, how do I follow up with customers after they purchase? So this was Scotty's question. What do I do with customers after they purchase you guys? I have had groups going, like I said, since 2016, I have never not had a group. So when somebody purchases, they're coming into my, you know, into my group, I have two group. Mm, I have three groups going right now. So <laughs> I have I have my normal Beachbody group that I've had um, 
it's been going since I would say 2018 because I used to do like new group, new group. And finally I was like, I'm done making new groups all the time. So anyone who is my Beachbody customer or on my team, they go into my one group and then I'll do like separate groups for like new launches and new programs. So I have a dig deeper specifically group going on on the side. And then I have a bot group for um, anyone, you know, that doesn't do Facebook, I have them in my um, bot group. And so, and then I, I'm, I'm like semi-active in there. Um, you know, I have, I do have posts going up every single day. So they're going, when somebody purchases, they're going into, you know, one of my groups. And Annabelle, I think you asked me this, what like monthly group challenges you invite to. So what I do, obviously I have the Dig Deeper group and prior to having Dig Deeper anytime, I do like to have a monthly group to invite to, but I have to feel it. Like it has to be something where like sometimes I'm just in the middle of a workout and I'll be like, ooh, I should do that. Like I, I'm, I'm digging that. Like it has to be something that I personally want to do and that I'm excited about. If I'm not feeling excited about it, then like, I don't, I don't want to do that group. Like, I'm not just going to do a random 21 day fix group because just to do it, like, it has to be something that I get excited over. Like sometimes I buy, um, sometimes group material on like Etsy or like, mompreneur wherever and like or I'll browse stuff and I'll be like oh that's like a cool topic to do and then it'll sort of light the fire and then I can kind of build off of it and then do a group around that like I'm kind of thinking soon we should be doing a to be mindset group since we just had the to be super block so you know maybe in the next like month or two I might you know I'm kind of that's like kind of like in the back of my head right now um and I know you asked about coach mentorships too. Um, I have not done like a coach mentorship in a while. Like I really, I'll be honest, like when everything happened with Jose, I, I, there was only so much that my brain could possibly handle. And I was like the, the thought of bringing training new coaches while trying to run the business and do everything else. It just, it was it was too much for me. And so I think that there's like certain times in your business where you have to realize where you may need to like, like I'm not quitting, but I just had to think about um, where my priorities were and like where my mindset was. And like, I had many like nights where I was crying and like sleepless nights. And I thought to myself, like, this is not the time for me to be bringing on new partners and trying to train people where I can't even barely like, keep it together myself, but I'm starting, you know, he's doing good. He's getting chemo and I, I think he's going to be okay. We hope so. And, um, I'm starting to feel the magic back inside of me. So, um, I actually have two new, I have two calls this weekend with two new partners coming on. And, um, as I, I'm, you know, I like when they all kind of start at the same time and I'll put them in a pod and kind of train everyone at the same time, you know, and kind of just check in with them and get them started on the, um, in the body partners app. So I feel it, it's coming, <laughs> like I'm, I'm getting better, but I just, I, I definitely went through this moment of, I cannot take on another responsibility right now. And now I've, I'm feeling like I can do these things like these calls. Like I, I, I even told Scotty, he had asked me months ago and I said, I just, I'm not in the right mindset right now to be able to pour into others on like a call, but I feel okay now. So here I am. Um, so yeah, so those are the three other questions that I got. And like, I wanted to leave time for you guys to ask whatever you want. Like I'm here, I'm open to if there's any, like anything in the chat or um, let's see if there's any like, um, how do you share about your monthly themed groups via your stories or just in conversations? Okay. So that's a good one. Um, I, I usually give it like at least two or three weeks before the group starts. So I'll do a Facebook post, I'll do an Instagram post. And then most of my stuff comes out of my stories. And once I start adding people into my group, I, I try to like build like a FOMO, like, okay, like I've got 50 people here. My goal is a hundred. 
you know, and like every, and I just keep sharing, you know, and I, I know they used to say like, we overshare too much, but sometimes I feel like people are like blowing through stories. They don't even really see it. So I think don't be scared to share. So if I'm running my dig deeper group before it started, almost every single day, you saw a picture of my dig deeper Facebook group and like the, the members that were in the group and with a link, you know, to my group or a link to forms for people to fill out a form or a question like, if you want to be in this group, message me like with question box or something like that. I think like most of the time my monthly challenge groups are coming out of stories in because those are the people that are like really watching, you know, for me anyways. Uh, OK, let's see. Oh, wait, that's what I do more chat. OK, let's see if there's anything else. Um, the fires. P90X, yes, you had really good results on P90X. I'm sure those people are paying for that program. Um, oh, Christy, let me read what you said. I think it's important to point out that for the program specific groups, you don't let even your team in unless they are doing that program that gets more attention and you are making sure it is the people paying for that program. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that if someone's gonna come in that dig deeper group, I have my free group. So I always tell people like, you know, I'm not like forcing anyone to buy Shakeology um, and that's on you guys. Like I know some people do that. Some people say you have to buy Energize and um, I'm, I'm not someone that, you know, forces that. But if you're going to be in my Dig Deeper group, then you have to have purchased, you know, Dig Deeper. Like that, that's all I ask for. So. I love that. Can I share something, Kim? Sure. Um, so I had a conversation this past week with a girl who was a former diamond on my team. So she's still a coach on our team and she loves dig deeper. Like she is crushing it. Like she's like in the group sharing like a sweaty selfie and like from both her steady state cardio and her workout, like she's in there, like fired up about the group. And that's my type of person, right? So right. he's just in love with the process. And so I had a conversation with her. I was like, hey, what, what happened? You know, because she was a diamond before and then kind of just slowly disappeared. Like I didn't really hear from her. Like she would show up in my bod group, mediocre, but stop coming to team calls and all this stuff. And she's like, well, I felt like, uh, you know, with, you know, life and being a mom and, you know, a spouse that I was becoming more and more of a therapist for people. And it was mentally draining to my coaches. It was mentally draining for me because I felt like their therapist. And so I just wanted to share with her what I shared with her. Like, I was like, Hey, like if you never decide to recruit another coach or so she's like, that's why I'm not coaching anymore. Even though she has her account. Right. I was like, if you never recruit another coach, like I'm totally okay with that. Like if it's not your thing to mentor people, that's totally okay. I think too often, this was a, a phone, a, like a, vi a video chat. I was like, too often, I think people think you have to be all in exactly how Beachbody body lays it out, or you can't, or you, you're not successful, or, or however you want to frame that in your mind, right? And I was like, if you never want to recruit coaches or mentor coaches, that's totally okay. But like, I see how much you love these programs and how good you are at showing up and sharing about it. And I was like, do you, do you enjoy helping people get results with the programs? And she's like, yes. And she's like, I was like, is that part ever like hard for you? And she's like, not really. Like, like I like right. that part. And I was like, then just do that. Like it's okay right. for you to retail, dig deeper or energize or whatever. I love being it is. a retail coach. I'm not going to lie. I've been a very big yeah. retail coach since the day I started. So, because it's something that I. I love getting results. I love going all in on programs. I love seeing everybody else go all in. So like that, which she's probably feels very similar. Yeah. yeah. And so with her, like, it was just like, sometimes it might seem like common sense after you, the fact, but sometimes you just need to be told like, you can do that. That's okay to do that. Like you're the way I look at you or someone else is not going to be like, are you a diamond or not a diamond? Are, are you a diamond or fault? Like, it doesn't matter as long as you're right. helping people with the mission and you love what you do and you're earning commissions. That's totally cool. Um, but one thing I want to share with you guys, like I, like I, I struggled sometimes with that as well, but I made a decision very early on. I was like, I'm not going to be a therapist or 
a, you know, it's not what I am. I'm not certified to do that. And so if someone comes to me with problems like that, I'm just going to tell them, I think that's something you should, you know, it's okay to go talk to, go to therapy or talk to a counselor to work through that. But that's not my job. My job is to teach you how to market, how to sell, how to support your customers and how to build your business. Uh, that's my role. So if people come to me with those types of questions, I just let them know that's not, I'm not certified and that's not my job. Um, but it's okay to go find somebody that can help you in that. So I just wanted to let any of you guys know that up front, that you get to set boundaries for yourself about what you want to do, how you want to coach in, coach people. Uh, and then real, real briefly, just like in three minutes, I just want to share because the question was posed to Kim, like, what are you doing uh, to mentor your coaches or, or your coach apprenticeship type systems is there anything with that for me what what i really visualize is going back to how my p90x journey was i'm going to run 90 day groups with dig deeper and just be in love like literally the majority of my day is having conversations with people about doing <laughs> dig deeper or with my people that are doing dig deeper <clears throat> and i'm gonna my goal is to help them get the most incredible results that they can't help but feel like i did and just talk about dig deeper and show how they lost 13 pounds or 15 pounds. And then my coach mentorship program for this year is going to be just helping, let's say let's say Kim was my brand new customer and she does dig deeper and she loses 13 pounds and gets stronger, right? And she's in love with, my conversations one-on-one -on -one with her and, and back and forth in the group is gonna be like, Kim, the next group is, starts, I don't have the date in front, my calendar's not up in front of me, but the next group starts on April 4th. Like, are you going to be in the, she's going to, of course, she's going to want to be in the group again, because she's so in love with it. But I'm going to be like, who are two or three of your friends that could, right. that you want to come do it with you. And then my, my way of mentoring her and her coaching business is not going to be like, let's hit success club and come to summit and, and get, get to Emerald. And here's how you get to diamond. It's going to be, how are we going to get these people into your friends into the next group with us? And right. then as they do that, they're going to be, those type of then, people yeah. are going to do the hard work of Dig Deeper and they're going to be like Kim. They're going to be self-motivated to be like, oh, okay, what's this team call thing? How does that success club thing they work talk? And they're going to just ask those questions and figure it out instead of me trying to have some systematic way to feed it to them, spoon feed it to them. I don't think it helps spoon feeding people. I honestly yeah. That, you know, when you have to look stuff up yourself and I literally spent, Jose and I were like, okay, so we have a coach and I think we need to become, and I want to become diamond. I don't even know how to move legs. And sure enough, you Google it. Like, how do you move someone from this leg to this leg? Well, guess what? The FAQ popped up for us even back in 2016. And like, that's literally how we learned. And I even like, you know, YouTube videos from like old coaches and just, I mean, it's, it's all there. Like, in, and I think that I learned it even faster because I never had anyone, you know, telling me um, where to find it. So I think that that'll work too, Scotty, for sure. Yeah. But I, I have the same kind of vision. Like people are just falling in love with this program, getting their transformations. We run another group, bring two friends and it just kind of like goes, goes from there. So does anyone else have any other um, questions? Oh, what did you write? <laughs> oh, I was just saying, J, JT, Jay's on here. I have his Do Hard Things shirt on, by the way. That's kind of awesome. Um, we, like, when he, he, so Jay's a former coach that came back, and he's like, all the changes in body, like, where do I start? What do I do? And I was like, just think of it like going back to church, man. Like, go <laughs> back to, like, he loved insanity, I was like doing insanity every day and following your meal plan. It's like going to church, like just show up and do that and you'll fall in love with it. You'll get results and then you'll want to share it with others and everything else will start to click and we'll just, we'll start right there. Yes. I like that. We call it going to church. Yeah. <laughs> just go to I church. have a lot of old coaches that have come to me that are like, I've just been burned. I don't, I don't want to sell anymore. I don't want to grow a team. I'm done. Kim, I'm done. I just, I just want to get results. I just want to like fall in love with the programs and let you do. And I'm like, okay. So I, I visualize like, yes, they've gone through different things. And, and so now like 
they're going to come in and they're going to fall in love with this program again and they're going to want to share again but like it's like they have to get back like you're saying just the easy of falling in love with the program and just being able to share and that's it like not all of this big stuff yeah i like it So anyone else have anything burning to ask? Um, if not, then, you know, thank you guys for coming on and listening to me babble. And um, it was nice to see all of your beautiful faces.